the Great Hall was central to Viking society. I remember when this Great Hall was always full of laughter. In some ways, it's a metaphorical place and it's a symbolic place. It's a metaphor for a lot of the politics that goes on, the conspiracy, the murders and these raids. And it's symbolic because, you know, it symbolizes a lot of Viking values. It is our custom to celebrate such an alliance as the gods celebrated theirs with feasting and with pledges. Skull. The bonds of loyalty, of obligation, of hospitality are the cement that holds Viking society together. And the Great Hall is the arena where all those things were played out and displayed and spoken of and demonstrated. And here we are in Lyra, where we have some of the largest Viking Age halls ever found. What we've just stepped into here is, is truly a, a residence fit for a king. Yeah, definitely. So we're looking at, what, five metres of timber above the, us here? Yeah. With roof supporting posts? Big pool, posts, yeah. In the middle, so these, <gasps> these posts, they're almost trees, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, they're huge things, <gasps> like this. Yeah. There would probably have been kind of a partition wall here or something, so you don't walk directly into the hall, which is, I think, very important in these houses also, that they show that access is controlled. Mm -hmm. The king had his own seat in the hall. The high seat. The high seat, yeah. yeah. You would probably have benches along the wall. I'd probably just walk yeah. through the fire yeah. and die in the <laughs> middle of it. That's not very wise, but... Um, <laughs> So that you have a big rectangular fireplace in the yeah. middle of the structure. And this isn't just like a small wood fire, is it? Mm, These are not big, others. big things. <gasps> We're talking about something sort of, you know, this wide and, and really long, so a, a big blaze of mm. light in the middle. The different roles of the Lord have so many different facets to them. He is a secular leader, a war leader, mm -hmm. a political leader, and he's also a religious figure. May the gods protect him always. Thank you, my Lord. So the hall is the absolute centre of Viking life. Surrounded by lots of other buildings, not everybody lives in something like this by any means, but it's the central place. Yeah. So here we are in a, a very wet Toftegore. Can you tell me what we're seeing here? Yeah, I mean, it might not look of much, but we're right in the middle of a huge Viking Age settlement. It's going all the way up to the green barn yeah. over there. There's a small dip, that's where the settlement stops. Then it goes all the way into the next field as well. This is not a culture that left behind enormous monuments like the Colosseum or the Taj Mahal. This is a culture that built in wood, leather, things like that. And these are all things that rot away. So our knowledge of the Vikings comes from excavations of their settlements and their graves. So, Anna, this is the material from your excavations at Toftegor. It is, it is. This is quite high-end stuff. Not every family would have had something like no, this. No, no you dip this into the pots the and pot, bring yeah. out your big the chunk meat. of meat. Yeah. It's finds like this that, apart from anything else, tell us about the status of this place, because of course yeah. everybody has to eat, but, but not using utensils like no, this. No. Yeah. So you can see how finely made this is. You can see the traces of decoration in the center there, this twisted band. It is feast. So feasting is a really big component of what goes on in these buildings. You would receive the hospitality of the Lord of the Hall, and in return, you would pledge a loyalty to him, either in terms of contributing to the upkeep of his community, or more particularly, in war. Now, who will be the first to drink in celebration? Looks better without the bag. It's really interesting. Oh, wow. Heavy, too. Yeah. It was gilded. Yeah. So this originally would have been shiny and bright like gold. <gasps> When we're talking about the halls, bear in mind these are quite dim mm. environments. They're lit by the fire. And this kind of jewelry, the firelight would reflect off it. So people are walking about and they'd shimmer as they moved. I'm not going to take this out of the bag. No. These gold foils. How many of them do you have from this side? Seven in all, I think. One of the enduring puzzles of early Viking archaeology is what are these oh, things? Really? These are little wafer-thin pieces of pure gold mm. that have been pressed with different designs. And it looks like each one of these places, like Toftegord, had its own special oh, symbol. Yeah. And there's an idea that these things are business mm. cards. I want to show you this bit, which might not look of much, 
but I think it tells an interesting story. It's probably a rim of a bowl, and it's probably looted. We can see that from the art, that it comes from the British Isles. This is quite possibly a monastic object, mm -hmm. actually yeah. from a monastery. Yeah. And given the date of Toftagol, which yeah. is the late 8th century, this is exactly the time of the, the raids yeah. on, the, on the British monasteries. So they're proper Vikings yeah. at Toftagol. <laughs> Don't mess with them, no. A lot of the wealth that is coming into Scandinavia on these Viking raids is being in turn fed into those systems of exchange and loyalty. Um, that the Lord would redistribute that wealth. You know, you've helped me on this raid, here are rings and bullion and all kinds of loot. And that would also then trickle down into the rest of society. This is what makes it a little bit unstable, a little bit dangerous. What a hoard is this? What a hoard it is. And the earls, they only existed and survived as long as they provided for their people. In other words, as long as the raiding parties were successful, so long as they were strong. If they weren't, they were just deposed. It was as simple as that. The world is changing and we must change with it. People are ambitious and they like to go up the social scale. So it's a society that's in a constant kind of tension. I've even heard some people say, is becoming like Earl also. People who would rather like to get up there and the people up there who'd rather they didn't, but they still need them in order to maintain their own position. And all of this is being acted out in the space of the hall. Ragnar Lothbrok, 